Okay, so now on this one, they tell us a geometric sequence. So what happens on a geometric different than arithmetic? is arithmetic. And then arithmetic is... Arithmetic's addition. No. Yeah. Geometric is multiplying. All right? So on number 14, it talks about Tanya creating a chain letter. So on day one, Tanya is going to send that letter to four friends, right? And then each of those four friends is supposed to send it to four friends. So now, how many people would be getting a letter on day two, or getting that letter on day two? Sixteen, 16 because I'm timesing it by four, right? Now, these 16 pet people are each supposed to send it to four of their friends. So on day three, if all 16 sent it to four of their friends, how many would there be? And then on day four, if those 64 sent it to four, what would that be? 256. Okay, so now they told us geometric, so we're multiplying it. What number are we multiplying it by each time? So, 4 is our common ratio. So, R equals 4, meaning our common ratio, the number that we're multiplying it by each time. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay, recursive formula is the same, really close, as the other one. So on the recursive, it's going to be f of 1 equals, and then we're going to, have to go f of x equals the number before it, times r. And then, so to complete this, all we have to do is replace r with our common ratio, and write down what our first number is. So, what is our first number? So, f of 1 is 4. So, f of x would equal f of x minus 1 times, what's my common ratio? 4. And that's my recursive, my geometric recursive. You're going to need to memorize that. Put it down on a flash card. Spend 10 minutes memorizing the recursive and explicit for both arithmetic and geometric. Four flash cards. Okay? Learn it. Okay, now explicit, on explicit what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the first number and then we are going to keep multiplying 4 over and over and over again. We will multiply 4 one less time than there are x's. All right? So, I guess instead of 4, we should put an r there. So your explicit formula f of x equals, not very neat, sorry about that. So, f of x would equal f of 1 times r to the x minus 1 power. So, all we have to do now is replace f of 1 and replace r. This is a lot easier than the arithmetic, by the way. So, f of x equals, what's my first term? Four. Four times, what's R? Four. Four to the X minus one power. Let's see if it works. On my fourth term, right? So F of four should be four times four to the 4 minus 1 power. You okay with that? So now, what is 4 minus 1? So 4 times 4 to the 3rd power should equal 256. Because that's what f of 4 is, right? Yeah. So what is 4 to the 3rd power? 
64. And so 64 times it by 4 is what? It worked. So that then here is our explicit formula. So now if they asked us to find the 25th term, all we would have to do is plug 25 in for x, raise 4 to the 24th power, times that by 4, and we're done.